Our European journey begins in Sweden against Ellsberg, and let's just hope it goes better so far than our domestic one. Welcome back, guys, to Sort of Scotland. And here's the FC 24 Hearts career mode, and today we will be entering the UEFA Europa Conference League. Yes, we've got Ellsberg in our opening group game. We're looking to get off to a good start in Europe because, to be honest, our start domestically has not been great, even though we won. Our opening game by three goals to nil against St. Johnston. We kind of got ahead of ourselves. We thought we were going to go on, have a great season, go unbeaten, smash Celtic Rangers 10 nil each. Okay, we didn't think that, but we thought that we were going to be more competitive than we have. But we followed up that 3 0 win against St. Johnston with four defeats in a row in the league, and that is simply not good enough. Now, since then, we've played two games and we've got four points a win against Dundee. And a 2-2 draw against St Mirren. So those results aren't bad. They're not great, but they're okay. If we could average four points every six games, I would be happy with that. I think that would get us in a good position come the end of the season. So we will look at the league. Then we'll look at the Europa Conference League group. And then I want to look at the stats in general just to see how we've basically did over the first seven games. So we are seven games into our season and we have seven points. We're averaging one point a game. That's not good enough. At this rate, it means by the end of the season, we'll be on 38 points if we did continue at one point per game, which is not what we want. We need to be averaging about two points a game, in my opinion, if we want to challenge for the title, which we kind of do. If not, if we want to at least compete for that third spot, then you're going to need around at least one and a half points per game. This, this one point per game ain't going to cut it. But you can see we're in eighth place. We won win. We, we could leapfrog... Dundee, Livingston and Aberdeen, but we're still a decent amount behind Hibernian, St Mirren, Celtic and Rangers. The top three are unbeaten. Are they going to lose any time soon? I don't know that, but what I do know is Rangers are absolutely on fire. 23 goals scored, 5 goals conceded, 18 plus on the goal difference. That's 10 more than their nearest challengers, Celtic. Rangers look unbeatable and when we played them, they did dominate us. Although we gave them a good game, we scored 2 goals, so we done a good job, but outside of us, Rangers have only conceded three goals in six games. We actually, I think we're the only team to score more than one goal this season against Rangers. So again, we can give ourselves a bit of credit there, but just in all the games, we weren't good enough. We'll focus more on the league, though, after we get done with Europe now. We're in the Europa Conference League. That is the beginning. That's the third tier of European football. Hopefully, next season, we can be in the Europa League, one step at a time. But this is our group. We've got Ghent, Shamrock Rovers and Ellsberg. It's a winnable group. We should be looking to get out of this group 100%. Are we favourites to get out? No, probably not. But we should be able to compete with Ellsberg and Ghent. If we can't compete with those two teams, then we're never going to do anything in Europe. This is a very favourable group. So I don't think we could have asked, honestly, for an easier one. Now, with that said, let's look at our stats for the season because they can't be good but I want to see what players have impressed and what players have not so let's go and check this out so basing on average match rating Lauren Shankland has been our best player by far he has got a 70 average rating keep in mind that this will be hampered with the red card he picked up so that will be a reason for that then it's Craig Halkett we've got Cammy Devlin who's also got a goal this season we have Oda, who hasn't scored any goals, but he's got three assists, which is pretty good. And I do feel like he is a danger down the right-hand side. I've been impressed with Oda. Another man I've been impressed with is Tagawa. He's got one goal and one assist. So we've got some players that are playing okay, but on average, I just don't think overall our team is playing good enough. You look at Craig Gordon, he's played all seven games. He does have two clean sheets, but he's averaging 56, and that's just, that's just not good enough. If we look at the goals, though, Lauren Shanklin leads the way. He's the only guy to score more than one goal. He's got six in total. That's good, but, I mean, the rest of the stats ain't good. I mean, we need the other players to contribute more. You look at the other attacking players, like uh, Forrest, Lowry, Mackay, Fargus, Liam Boyce hasn't got it. I mean, there's just no goals for these guys. So I am a little bit annoyed. We need more players to start helping Shankland out. I get Shankland as our main man. He is the main threat, but at the end of the day, 
He needs help. He's not super Shankland. He cannot do it on his own. So we need players to step up. And this is a big, big episode to step up. Because like I said, not only are we beginning our European journey, but we've also got Celtic in the league. And due to our poor start to the league, we really could do be winning at Tynecastle against the current champions of Scotland. So massive episode. Let's get it started up next against Ellsberg. And this is how the Ellsberg team looks then, heading into the game against Hearts. You can see they're playing a 4-3-3. Now, in terms of their overall team rating, they're three and a half stars. So that is a half rating less than us. So we should be favourites going into this match. Now, I'm looking at the team. I don't really realise any of the players. I think I've heard of Frick and maybe Headland, But other than that, I'm not really familiar with this team. So... Based on what we've seen there, we really should be going into this game, guys, with a lot of confidence. Now, as for our team, we have had to change this quite a lot. You look at it, man, it's a completely different team, and it is a little bit worrying. We've got no Oda, no Tagawa, no Barry Mackay, no Shankland. There's so many players missing that we would like to have in our starting eleven. but due to fitness reasons, we're having to go with this team here. So it's going to be Gordon and Nets. Cochrane, Rolls, Halkett and Andy Halliday for his first start of the season. Then it's Nevenhoff and Devlin in the midfield with Grant in front of them. Lowry on the left and Forrest on the right with Liam Boyce up front as the main sole striker. So it's not ideal. It's not the 11 we want, but it's the 11 we've got. So we'll just have to make the most of it. And hopefully, fingers crossed, these guys could turn up. Uh, the fans have turned up by about 2,000. Jambos here coming to Sweden and hopefully we can give them a performance that makes it worth traveling for. It's Ellsberg versus Hearts and it is coming up next. Again, we will be donning the uh, the lovely pink strip, which is a, it's a beauty. Like I need to get my hands on that. I really do. But anyway, here we go. Ellsberg will get us underway. And this is it. We are off, guys, in Sweden. The Euro European campaign begins. We won the ball straight away there, but... Couldn't hold on to it. Ellsberg, a little bit fortunate. Has been raining a lot, so I don't know how the pitch is going to hold up here. Don't know what kind of game we can expect. But we're, we're going to find out, I guess. It's Frick. Frick approaching the Hearts box here. And we need to do better than that. Good tackle for Halkett. Halkett's not having it. He's According to the stats, he's been our second best player this season. In terms of average rating, so... It'll be interesting to see if he can deliver another good performance today. It's uh, Cammy Devlin now. Step over, plays it to Andy Halliday, who's making his debut for this season even. His first appearance. Halliday out towards George Grant. George Grant is going to try and keep it in. And he forces a, a throw in, so that's not bad there. Throw in for George Grant. Now we're going to see if we can pick out Grant. Grant again with the ball. Plays it to Callum Nowenhoff. It's Cochrane. Cochrane back to Cammy Devlin. Devlin to Halkett. Hart's been pushed back here. What's Halkett got in store? Halkett to Forrest. James, not James Forrest, it's Alan Forrest. Can't believe we got the Forrest brothers mixed up. And Forrest wins as a corner. So, decent start here. Eight minutes in. Stephen Naismith looks on. Reasonably happy with what he's seeing. Forrest delivers it in. Halkett's there. We need to chase that, close that down. We maintain possession. Devlin again. Holding on to it here. Still Devlin. Didn't spot the overlap, or maybe he spotted it and just didn't go for it. I don't know. Still Devlin. Back to Cochrane. Over the top is Callum. Nailing off. Strike, and it's a good save for the goalkeeper. It has been a good start here for Hearts. Forrest coming over to take this corner again, and wasn't really expecting this performance, but we're enjoying it so far. So another ball is going to come back at the Forrest. Forrest flicks it over to Cochrane. Cochrane. Cammy Devlin. Drills another one, and it's going to be another corner for the Jambos. Devlin, not happy. Expect it better there, but the shot bouncing off the Swedish man. Ball in again, headed away. It will be chased down by Cochrane. Flicks it back to the midfielder. Hearts here, enjoying a really good possession. Really good period this game. Alex Lowry. Been disappointing, I think, since joining for your Angels. What's Lowry got? Lowry now picks out Cochrane. Cochrane, ball in. Oh, boys was trying to swing at it. Going for a folly, didn't connect. Hearts again in possession. Halliday, Halkett. This is quality stuff here for Hearts. Did not expect us to start the game like this. Hopefully we can keep it going. Cochrane, looking for... Oh, I think Rolls is offside. 
Rolls chases it, but yeah, it looks like he was off there. And now Headland just round his man, and he is attacking Hearts with pace. Rolls needs to get back, and Rolls has caught him, and that could be a yellow card. I think that's a bad tackle. I do expect a book in here. I'd be surprised if Rolls does not see a yellow card for that, and he will. The referee not happy, and that's that's fair enough. It's not a great tackle, is it? No. But it might be an important tackle, because he was away down the wing there, and I wasn't liking the look of it. Ball in. Rolls heads it away. Hearts trying. Oh, we just got out muscled there. I think it's Cammy Devlin who falls to the floor. Devlin then pushes out. It's Halt, and now it's Ellsberg really showing what they've got. Still Ellsberg. Frick. And that's a chance. That's a good save for Craig Gordon. And I'll be honest, we haven't said that that often this season. But that's a fantastic save for Craig Gordon. Was not good defending. Could have easily been a goal there. Uh, that is, though. Great tackle from Devlin. And now it's out to Forrest. Forrest going to look for Boyce. Boyce holds onto the ball. Now can he play Forrest back? He's going to try and play him in. And Forrest is going to run onto this. Forrest has got a good chance here. Can Forrest pick somebody out, though? He's... Ah, oh, where is he going with that? I understand what he's trying to do, but that pass ain't good enough. That's nowhere near good enough to be in. Ah, come on. Why are you doing this like that? Oh, and Rolls slides in. He's already on the yellow. He needs to be careful. We cannot go down to 10 men. This is a chance now for Ellsberg. And Craig Gordon does get something on it, but he doesn't get enough on it. And this goes against the run of play. Ellsberg have scored. They do take the lead. They don't deserve the lead, but they have the lead. Whether they deserve it or not, we find ourselves trailing here in Sweden. We are a goal behind, unfortunately. And we could have, could we have done more. Yeah, we could have defended it better. I don't blame Craig Gordon, though. I mean, Craig Gordon's came out. He's closed him down. He's got a touch on it, but it just wasn't enough there. And uh, that sucks, but... We're going to have to deal with it. We're 1 0 down here in the Europa Conference League. Now, what can he do with it? Oh, another good tackle for Kai Rose, and I tell you what, I mean, if he doesn't make that, he's off. No doubt about it. And Craig Gordon, oh my god, what are we doing? We just gifted them a second goal. Craig Gordon taking too much time on the ball. I can't believe that. I cannot believe that. This team has not started well yet. We've gifted them two goals. They're 2-0 up here against the run of play. And Kai Rolls makes a great tackle just for Craig Gordon to do that. This trip to Sweden, it's not a holiday. It's a fucking nightmare. I can't believe it, guys. We're 2-0 down. And that one is completely our own fault. Stephen Naismith, if he had any, if he had any hair left, he's, he's certainly losing it. This game is aging him. 10 hours a minute, I think. It's just not good enough. Alright, Forrest again now doing this. Right hand side, cuts in. Decent for Forrest, but just gets out muscled in the end. Trying to go too far himself, I think. Should have looked for an option. Look, should have looked for somebody. Ellsberg now looking for a third goal. We've got a lot of confidence now. You can just feel that they're playing a lot better, and we're the ones that allowed them into this game. At the start, we had them pinned back. They could not get out their own half. But. A mistake for us. Craig Gordon then launching one forward. Lowry just gives it away. Neuenhoff wins it back. Come on. Devlin. To Halliday. Halliday's been quiet in this game. We haven't seen much for him. Puts Forrest in a bit of trouble there with that pass. Ellsberg can they? Oh, it's an odd tackle. And Halliday's going to get back in time here. But the referee will pull it. He's going to say that's a free kick. And it is. Craig Halkett is complaining. He, he doesn't agree, but it doesn't really matter what he thinks because the referee is giving the free kick. And it's a big, big chance here. Jordan Larson is over this ball, or whatever Larson it is. I think it is. And it's 3 now, man. It's the last thing we need on the brinky half time. Just make sure we get in 2 0 and we can come back for that. But no, there's no coming back for this. We're being absolutely taught a lesson here. Doesn't matter how good you start, we didn't score. And now. Ellsberg are making us pay for it. Just a ball into the box. and It's not the first time we've conceded a goal like that. They win the header. They put it past the goalkeeper. And it's right in the top corner. I mean, I don't think you can expect Craig Gordon to save it. It's a really good header. We are unfortunate, but that is half time now. And it's all to do in the second half. 3-0 down we trail here in our opening Europa Conference League game.
We look at the stats at half time. We've dominated possession, but it has not really worked out for us. We've got all the possession in the world, but we've no goals. Ellsberg have three goals. Honestly, I think we could have defended better for all three of them, especially the second one. We we basically gifted them the second one. We wrapped it, put a bow tie on it, and everything. Man, we we were shit for that goal. Well, we say we. Craig Gordon. He he definitely definitely probably should retire at the end of the season the way he's played and I might even bring in Sander Clark for the next game I think he deserves drop based on that alone but performances haven't been so good so far this season we've got uh you know it's a not a full strength team either don't I make excuses but I think we may be big I think we might just accept this game's getting away from us who knows half time might make some changes I think I'm going to bring Pollock on you know what I'm going to bring Pollock on I'm going to bring on Den Denholm yeah we're going to bring on two young kids here making their uh debuts for the season why not give them a bit of game time because what we've seen in the first half has not been good enough it needs to change hopefully it will change in the second we'll bring two of the, the get kids on with futures let's be honest because i don't think a lot of the players in this team have futures i mean I, i'm sorry to say it. i love the guy that's got the ball here but i think his future at the club is uh, going to be pretty short i think his future in gen generally he is what 41 years old now but he's just not performed today unfortunately Ball out to Forrest now. Forrest to Boyce. And Boyce just runs into trouble. Isolate it up there. And Cammy Devlin tackles from behind. And you know what? This could be a red here. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see what the colour is going to be. And it is. Okay. Things go from bad to worse. Red card for Cammy Devlin. At the beginning of the second half. Is it deserved? I don't know if that's a deserving red card. But I'm the, I'll be the first to admit, it's not a good tackle. It's a frustration tackle, be honest. I'm very frustrated. I don't think we deserve to be losing this game, but losing it, we are. And that might just be the final nail here. Is there any way back? Honestly, I'm not too sure. We'll see what boys can do with this. Liam Boyce trying to get forward, trying to hold on to the ball. Hearts now with Cochrane. Cochrane plays out to Liam Boyce. Boyce flicks it in. Lowry was there. It's out towards Halliday. Halliday turns around, takes a shot, saved by the goalkeeper. Andy Halliday almost pulling one back for us. And then, oh, just when you think we're going to get a corner, we don't even get that. And now Ellsberg with a couple of passes, takes it around the Hearts players. And now they're on the attack. They could be looking for a fourth here. Surely not. We need to get, Rose needs to get back in time. He does. We may have to take him off, to be honest, because he is on a yellow card and... We don't want to risk getting another man sent off. We're already down to 10. Going down to 9 would be a disaster. This is Kai Rolls. Kai Gordon Rolls gets ready and we're hanging on here. I can't believe we're hanging on to a 3 0 defeat, but that's exactly what we're doing. They win it back once more. Giroud into the middle of the park now. Battle out to Boateng. Another good interception. For how much longer can we hold on? How much longer can we keep us up? This defending this back to the walls mentality here, right? Halliday. Another good tackle, right? Plays it to Forrest. Forrest with some step overs. Picks it Pollock. Pollock now to Boyce. Boyce. Back to Pollock. Pollock this time loses it. We get it back through Halliday though. Halliday to Boyce. It's Lowry. Lowry over the top, and there's no way Cochrane's getting that. I mean, I can see what he's trying to do, but let's try again. He puts his hands up to apologise. This is a better ball, though. Andy Halliday will get to this. Halliday keeps that in, does well. Oh, then he gives it away. I mean, he does the hard part and then just gives it straight back. The point of that, right? Forrest, Denholm. Lowry. Pollock. Pollock back to Denholm. Oh, so we're trying to get bodies forward, trying to create something. I don't know what that is, though. I don't know what that is. I don't want to see it again. Terrible pass. All right, another three subs being made. We've got Frankie Kent, Kenneth Fargas, and Peter Haring coming on. Shaking up a wee bit. 22 minutes to go. We haven't conceded in the second half, so we'll try and keep that up. And just get out of this game without a total embarrassment of a scoreline. If we can get a goal, that'd be great. But goal difference could be crucial in this um, group stage. So the last thing we want to do here is allow Ellsberg to win by four or five goals. As soon as I say that, though, they're through. Frankie Kent does well. He's done pretty decent there. 
I right, bought the Den home. Den home. Got Fargas in front of him. Plays it to Fargas. Fargas now lays it off to Peter Haring. Haring now with Halliday making the run. Halliday will collect it. Halliday, can he get it through? Halliday is shite, man. Seriously. Halliday, what is that? Halliday is on fucking holiday. I might leave him here in Sweden. If he likes Sweden, he can stay. Ellsberg looking to make it four. Good tackle. We've lost it though. Good save with Craig Gordon. He makes a save when in reality it doesn't really matter because the game's already done. But fair play, Craig Gordon. Denying it from uh, being more than free, I guess. Let's see. Can we get forward? Denholm will collect this. Got Fargas up there. He's not really making a run though. Still Denholm. Spins around. Picks out Forrest in the middle of the field. Forrest. Forrest to Cochrane. There was a run on there, but we just couldn't make it. Cochrane back to Kent. Kent. I mean, decent wee bit of play here for Hearts. Decent amount of possession. Holding on to the ball for a bit. It's a shame the game's done. And then that's another pass that's went wayward. And yeah, we won the throw in actually. We got a throw in at that. We don't want to say of anything really, but somehow we got the throw in. It is Forrest. Forrest to Haring. And Peter Haring just gets caught from behind. Lazy there. On the ball. And now Gibraja is through. Boating. Could we see Ellsberg get a fourth here? It's looking dangerous. Finally, Halkett puts in a tackle. He concedes the corner. Seven minutes to go. Ellsberg knows this is a chance for them to win this game by a really good scoreline. It's a bullet header. Craig Gordon touches it over. Still another corner. Another chance here for Ellsberg to do damage. Ball in again. Headed away. Pollock. Pollock trying to play it out towards Halkett. Now Halkett, I don't know why he's the man running forward here. I mean, but he is. And Halkett loses the ball. I mean, I think we've all seen that coming. Apart from Craig Halkett, to be fair. I don't know why he was so far up there. But Ellsberg again getting forward. It's another chance. It could be four. It is four. That will do it. That will probably be the last goal of the game. Ellsberg there adding insult to injury. Just when it looked like we were about to share the second half. Ellsberg's like, no. We want a fourth goal. They get a fourth goal. And this has just been a game to forget. No one's really turned up here. No one's really putting a good performance. And we were really good the first 20 odd minutes. Uh, the first 20, 25 minutes. We looked like we could easily win this game. We were dominating, but I don't know what happened. But uh, reality's kicked in. And we, in fact, have been dominated. So, is there any chance left for us? Can we get one opportunity? Haring. Just, oh my, that, that sums up the game. And Ellsberg might not be done. Ellsberg now have an opportunity here. It's an opportunity to Bado. Frankie Kent's going to come across. Is it Cochrane? Prevents it going out for a corner. Halkett will launch it forward. It is all over here in Sweden. That was an absolute disaster. I don't want to speak about it. I don't want to think about it. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to do nothing about it. I just want to forget about it. That's the only thing I want to do. Post-match interview. No, we're just going to get in the first home, the first flight home. I don't give a fuck. Even if I need to swim. Get me a rowing boat. I'm not doing any press conferences, man. Screw that. No. Terrible result there, guys. We lost. Didn't do enough. Dominated possession. Done nothing with it. Ellsberg scored when they got the opportunities. That sums up the match. They deserve to win. We deserve to lose. And it's just a game I want to forget about. We've seen Ghent beat Shamrock Rovers 2-0. So yeah, we're bottom of the table with Shamrock Rovers. We're keeping ourselves in good company, a.k.a. shite company. But up next, we move on to the league. We are taking on Celtic. We're 12 points behind them. I mean, I think we need to win this. This is a game that we really need to win. I'm hoping that we do win it. But yeah, that's absolutely massive. So we'll just get into it. We'll hopefully put on a better performance than we did against Ellsberg. And if we do, then we have a chance. If we don't, then... I know we're probably going to get blown away again.
All right, it's press conference time. It's been three days since that defeat against Ellsberg, so hopefully we can forget about that, put that in the past, and concentrate on today's game. Cameron Devlin suspended. Not good, but we're not a, we're not a one man team. I don't even think we're a, we're not we're more like a zero man team. We don't have any players that are stepping up right now. Although having said that, Shankland does have six goals in seven games. So yeah, Lauren Shankland. If we lose him, we're kind of fucked. Uh, there's all this pressure. Look, we'll play. We need to find some form. I'm sick of saying it, but it's true. It, it, it's true. We do need to find some form. We're garbage right now. Although we are unbeaten in our last two league games, so that I guess that means something. Uh, it's not a bad run you expect for Hearts. I don't even know how to explain it. I have to take some of the blame. It's hard. I have to take some of the blame. Of course, I'm the manager, and I'm also the guy that's holding the controller. So I probably need to take all the blame, to be fair. But I will take some. Stephen Naismith will definitely take some. Stephen Naismith is going to take some of the blame. Now, this is the Celtic side that we're expecting to see when they take us on. A 4-2-3-1 wide. They've got David Turnbull in there instead of Rio Hitati, which is a little bit strange. No O'Reilly either. They're preferring Awata. Uh, the back four is Taylor, Yuki, Carter, Fickers and Johnson. So they're going with Kobayashi over Naroki, which is, again, another interesting choice there. Um, Turnbull, I think, is a mad choice. And this, they've got Abada on the left and Maida on the right. I'm surprised they haven't switched them around, but their main man is up front. That is Kyogo Furuhashi, and you can see Celtic's last four, five matches. They've got four wins and a defeat. So Celtic, we know, are doing well. They're not doing as well as Rangers, but they're doing pretty damn good, and it's going to be hard for us to stop them. But stop them, hopefully we can. They've got Joe Hart's in there, so, I mean, there's a chance. They've got sleepy fucking Joe in there, so maybe we can do something. And this is how we're lining up then. It's a beaten up squad, no doubt about it. Is it our strongest squad? Absolutely not. I totally forgot Shankland got sent off in our last domestic league game as well. Late on against St Mirren. He's seen red, got a red card. So that means he is suspended. We're having to bring in boys. We still don't have Oda. We still don't have Tagawa. We've got players missing. Halkett is missing. So Craig Gordon is going to be the captain for this game. Toby Sibbett comes in to replace him. Cochrane's missing. This is a depleted squad, and we probably need our best squad. Just, you know, it's it. we'll try. We will try, but it's going to be tough. It's going to be... It was always going to be tough, but it's just been made harder with the fact that we're missing more or less half of our starting 11 players. But we'll, we'll, we'll do our best. Hopefully, that will be enough on the day. Here comes the players then onto the pitch. We need a big performance. Will we get a big performance? Let's hope so. Two goalkeepers coming together. The coin has been flipped. There's the two captains, McGregor and Gordon. And here we go. Hearts versus Celtic in the Cinch Premiership. We win this. Takes us on to 10 points after eight games. It wouldn't be a great points tally, but at least we'd have salvaged something. Because for a moment in the league, it was not looking good for us. But four points out of our last two games. Hopefully we're heading in the right direction here. Fargas gets a rare start. Atkinson back to Toby Sibic. Sibic plays Kai Rolls. Rolls to Stephen Kingsley who's coming in for Cochrane in the day. I'd love to see a Stephen Kingsley left foot at free kick. I'd love to see any sort of Stephen Kingsley goal to be fair. Any goal. Don't care who scores it. Ball then played up towards Boyce. Boyce got to try and flick it on and Lowry was contesting that. Looked like there was a bit of a push but nothing given. Furuhashi out through the middle. And Dyson Maida. And Dyson Maida already here with the pace. Rolls needs to get back. Great tackle for Kingsley. Took no prisoners there. Just jumped in and basically slaughtered him. There's Brendan Rogers. Brenda looking on. I wonder if he's impressed with what he's seen in the opening eight minutes. The pass us again. Oh, it's offside. Kyogo's offside. Great save for Craig Gordon. And offside was not given. So that would account it had Kyogo scored. Thankfully, though, Craig Gordon made an absolutely massive save. Uh, it's head of the way. It's back to the keeper. A bit risky there, but we eventually do get rid of it. Now Stephen Kingsley. Bombing forward. And he just loses it here. Well, he might win the throw, and he does. 
He's done not bad there in the end. I was about to criticise him, but one is a throw in, right? Civic. Ball played up over the top. Barry McKay now in a central position. Don't know why he's so central, but he is. Atkinson. Atkinson to Lowry. He's picked him out. Lowry. Lowry shoots. Joe Hart just manages to save it and Celtic clear it. Oh, man. So close to going 1-0 up. It's Neuenhoff to Kingsley. Kingsley now to Barry McKay. McKay. Ah, oh, Barry McKay. That's pish. Absolute shite from Barry McKay. Just when we were applying pressure there, we needed to keep up the momentum and Barry McKay with a poor ball, but that's a good chance there. We worked Joe Hart, something that we haven't done up to this point, but we made Joe Hart pull off a good save and we need to do more of that. Kingsley, Kingsley now, back to rolls. We're enjoying a good bit of possession here. I'm enjoying this. Just holding on to the ball, trying to work our way around this Celtic team. Oh, chance here now. Atkinson. Atkinson wins the corner. Decent there, decent. We'll take that. I'm going to take it short. Is Lowry? Lowry I think I'm going to whip it in. I'm going to whip it in. Barry McKay in towards boys. Oh, Kingsley off the line. No way, man. A badder off the line. How did a badder make that save off the line? Unbelievable. I see that one more time. Then Barry McKay with the delivery, great ball, and it finds its way to Stephen Kingsley, who drills it into the bottom corner. But a badder of all people is there to clear it off the line. Goal line clearance. Fargas again, that's a good stuff for us. Ball over the top, Stephen Kingsley again. Kingsley saved the game by Joe Hart. I don't know why we're committing so many bodies forward, but at the moment, it's working and we're applying big pressure here. Celtic again, we can see that goal line clearance. Was the ball over the line? Unfortunately not. I mean, maybe a millimetre of it was over the line, but unfortunately not enough yet. Uh, can we just deliver a good ball in here? Hopefully we can. Barry McKay. Yeah, decent area, but taken care of by Celtic. Back out to Barry McKay. Back post, we've got Kingsley again there. It's headed once more. Lowry, can he get to that? No, he cannot. Celtic could be on the counter. Oh, we took our own man out there. That's dangerous. I know we're desperate not to allow Celtic to break, but can't be making slide tackles like that. An insane tackle. Now it's out to Taylor. Greg Taylor, been quiet in this game. He's not done a lot. He's gave it away. Poor for Greg Taylor. Rolls again. Oh no, okay, Rolls, son. What is that? That's poor. Devlin's going to try and stop Furuhashi if you're doing anything. It's a bad, uh, a bad, uh, oh, that's a brilliant tackle for Neuenhoff and get rid of that, man. What are we doing here? Oh, sometimes at the back we're our own worst enemy. And we've just gifted Celtic the lead. So fucking unnecessary with so many chances to get rid of it. And it's David Turnbull. And it's not deserved at all. They take the lead at 10 cars, so and that's sabotage, that is. Self-harm for hearts. Suicide for hearts. They haven't scored. We've scored against ourselves. We've gifted them that goal. I can't believe it, man. I really can't believe that. We've been good today. Alright, shaky the first five, ten minutes. After that. We'll create quite a lot of chances, but then we give Celtic a chance and we, we, we I hate him. I don't even want to see Brendan Rodgers screw that shite. Good ball to Atkinson. Nevaniel. Cuts in. Fargas. Shot. Fargas again. Another shot over the bar. Couldn't keep it low. Kind of Fargas. So, so close to getting his level. But his shot just rises above the bar. Rises above Joe Hart. And all chance gone. Good tackle for boys, come on. We're on again here. Over the top to Lowry. Lowry's through, but... Ah, oh, he couldn't control it there. He did chest it down well, but... Just another Celtic defender in his way. Good tackle from Devlin. And uh, you can see most of the... I mean, the win probability is going for Celtic, but... I don't know, I wouldn't say we're out of this yet. I don't think we're done. Kyogo. Kyogo's just... And that's killed us. Ki Kyogo Furuhashi. Oh, yeah. May as well name him after Hurricane. May as well call him Hurricane Kyogo. Because he has just wiped our defence out like a hurricane. Took us round the back to the sides. Took us everywhere. And then just walks through the middle of us. And, and, it's, it's fucking shit for us. It's weird. It's so shit for us. But it's good for him. It's like, what do you do? And we find ourselves 2-0 down. 
Brendan Rodgers is loving life. Boys, now come on, chance here. Out to Nathaniel Atkinson. In towards Boys, Boys lays it off. Lowry! Oh, saved again by Joe Hart. It's going to be a corner for Hart. Stephen Naismith wants a goal here, don't we all? Delivery needs to be good from Barry Mackay. Boys! Fucking shit! Boys! What's he doing, man? Just fucking get it on target with the header. Celtic lead at the break here, Time Castle. I mean, it is 2 0, but we've been the better side. No, look at that, 68% of possession, we've had 7 shots to their 3, uh, we've got better pass accuracy, we've had a lot more passes, we've had almost 3 times the amount of passes Celtic have had, yet they're winning this game. It's insane, absolutely insane. They're 2-0 up at the break, yet we're playing like a team that's 2-0 up, it's not fair. And as Kyogo makes it free, Kyogo with a hat trick. Am I surprised? No. I'm disappointed, obviously yes, but... He gave him a chance. Yeah, he will take said chance. Still take a free nil up here. I think this game's done. I think this game is all over. And it's poor. I mean, look at the defending again. Just we are just allowing to run through the through the midfield there, or through the defence, and then Kyogo inside. It's, it's it's terrible for us, man. It really is. Furuhashi again. He stays on his feet. He squeezes it in, and it, it's four nil. We have conceded four goals to Kyogo Furuhashi on his own. He is single-handedly destroying us here. And I get it, our defence ain't good enough, but he's too good for us. We can't deal with him. We just cannot deal with him. Slide in here trying to get the ball. He reads it completely, goes round us, and then again, I think we might see the end of Craig Gordon here. I think he has to get dropped. It's just not good enough. You expect your goalkeeper to prevent things from going in at the near post, and... Time and time again, he can't do that. He, j he just can't do it. And this is an absolute disaster. Kingsley with the ball, and all we can do really now is make sure so they don't score again and try and get a goal back ourselves. Just try and make something of this game. It's Fargas. Fargas in towards. By the Mackay, his shot's blocked. Looked like we opened up a wee bit of space there, but... Not enough for Barry McKay. I think he maybe should have took it first time. Might have had a better chance if we did that, but we thought taking a touch would be a better idea, and it turns out it wasn't a better idea. And I think we're running out of ideas. Running out of time as well. Running out of everything. Oh my god, now Abada with Sedan spin. It's Maida. It's a good save for Craig Gordon. Cannot prevent the corner. But I'm just glad it's not 5 0. Craig Gordon making a big, big save there. Hatati has come on for Turnbull. Still there, taking this one short. Kyogo. Still Kyogo somehow comes away with it. Alright, we win it back. Come on, let's go, Boyce. Boyce has got Fargas in front of him, but this just may, just, may just go himself. But look at the pace he dies in Maida getting back. Boyce, though, puts in a tackle, wins the ball. I don't know if that was at a play. I thought it was. We kind of stopped there, but referee says it's still in. Sibic is coming across. Abada's getting away from Toby Sibic. Abada turns around, still Abada. Abada just walks around him. Good tackle there for Kai Rolls, but again, it's coming. I don't even know if that is Rolls, but it's coming at a stage where the game's pretty much already gone. The Rocky now coming on. Celtic take this corner short. Abada gets round Mackay. Abada still going. He's tried to squeeze it in again, and you don't blame him. I mean, look at that. Far Furuhash is coming short because he, he knows he can dribble around us. He's done it again. A good tackle for Devlin. Come on. Devlin back to Mackay. Mackay. So why is Mackay playing a centre back? Seriously, what is Barry Mackay doing here? Gets past Maeda, which is not easy, but has to turn back because he doesn't have the pace. Makes sense. Haring. Devlin. Atkinson now. And, oh, and Atkinson's gave that away. And it's crazy. You would not think this is a game that we were in charge of around the 20 minute mark, but we literally were the better side. And now it's it's 5 now, and it's Kyogo Furuhashi again. He has scored five goals against us today. We'll, we'll bring, I don't even know who Thomas is, we'll bring him on. He can't do any worse than what we've seen today. He really, he really can't do any worse. So we'll bring on Thomas, or you know, whatever he's called. Uh, disgusted, man. Absolutely disgusted here with this performance. How we've just fallen apart defensively at the back. And we've not really offered anything this second half. 
thought we were good first half, but uh, come the second half, we've just not had anything to trouble Celtic. And they've walked straight through us. We're like a heavyweight boxer, but we need punch in our power. We just can't hold them off. Ball now back to Fargas. Fargas trying to go past Greg Taylor. Can't do that. And Greg Taylor gets Celtic out of trouble. Carter Fickles to Awata. Awata now getting away. And you know, it's a poor pass for Awata. Atkinson cuts that one out. And Atkinson. Oh, it's that man there. Snap his legs, man. Kyogo for a fucking hashi. Celtic win it back again. Every time we get the ball, we're just constantly losing it within a minute or two. We just cannot seem to enjoy any lengthy spell of possession here. And so like again, twisting and turning. Kent comes across, gets the ball back to Craig Gordon. Craig Gordon there gets away with that one. Haring drops deep. We pick him out. Kingsley. And now we're just being pushed back here. Celtic pressing us big time. I mean, they're 5-0 up and they're still pressing the shit out of us here. Kingsley now, right, come on. Haring over the top. Barry Mackay. And Barry Mackay loses out. And it's Celtic again looking dangerous with Furuhashi. It's Furuhashi against Kent. It's a good tackle for Sebek. Sebek then just clears it forward. There's no Hearts players up. So we get, again, we're just giving Celtic possession straight back. Furuhashi again. Sebek against Abada. Good tackle. Two minutes he had it on time. Fargas will get rid of this. And hopefully that will put us out of our misery. Referee, blow the whistle. Do your job. And he does. Thank fuck for that, guys. It's finished here. Ten Castle. Celtic 5. Hearts nil. Furuhashi gets the match ball. Well, he said he only got four goals. I could have swore he scored all five. Apparently, he only, I mean, I think four is enough. I don't really care who scored them, to be honest. But he got the match ball. I thought we were the better side there. But second half, we just didn't show up in Celtic. Pummeled us, really, and in the end, they probably did deserve to win. But, yeah, just not good enough, guys. Not good enough at all. And it's a bad, 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 bad defeat. Rangers, again, winning. So they keep their unbeaten run going. I think I've seen a St Mirren win there too. So I believe St Mirren also are still unbeaten. Uh, we dropped down to ninth. Not great. St Mirren are still unbeaten, as are Celtic, as are Rangers. So you can see the top three are really beginning to pull away for us now. Rangers, Celtic, St Mirren flying high at the top. Then it's Hibernian in fourth place. Dundee in fifth. Aberdeen sixth. And now you need to scroll down, guys, to see us in ninth place. I mean, we're still close to the... The midfield pack, you know, a couple of wins here would definitely fire us right up the table, no doubt about that, but the main thing is we're getting away, the top teams are getting away from us, it's not only Celtic Rangers, St Mirren are getting away from us, and that's going to be worrying, because we need to get third place, and at the moment, St Mirren enjoy an 11 point lead over us, so that's going to be difficult to claw back guys, but claw back we will try and do, I will catch you in the next one, it's been another disappointing episode, but I mean it was two hard games, I think we've definitely got an easier run coming up and we will need to make sure we make that count. We need to bounce back. We need to get a couple of wins on the row and, yeah, I need to get some points on the board because the way this is going at the moment, guys, we cannot keep this going. It's just not good enough. We've conceded the second most amount of goals in the league. The only team that's conceded more goals than us is Mullerwell and we actually play Mullerwell in the next episode. So we've got Livingston and Mullerwell, two teams that we should be able to beat. Beat them, move on to 13 points and then... Maybe we'll look at the table a, bit, a little bit differently and we'll be a little bit more positive. But right now, it's hard to be positive because we're down in ninth place. We've only got seven points and we've been on the end of five defeats after only eight games. And that is poor. That is very poor. We're averaging one goal a game in terms of scoring. But in terms of conceding, we're averaging, what, two and a half goals against us every game. So, yeah, shake guys. We need to improve. Hopefully we can next time. Anyway, catch you in that. Being Scotland 90. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. And peace.